The new calculated metrics function in Google Analytics can be a great time saver when calculating end of month reports. Let's take a look how to use this new function. If you're in Google Analytics, hit the admin tab. Go over to the right hand side and you'll see the calculated metrics. Click on that. Add new calculated metric. Name the calculated metric. In this case, we're going to call it cost per acquisition. We want this to be a dollar sign, so we're going to use the currency formatting type. Other options include integer, time, and percent. The formula is once you start typing in some of the different operators and predefined metrics, it uses the normal order of value. So in this case, we're going to take sessions, and we're going to divide that by goal value. And this will calculate the total number of sessions in the time frame that we have set up, divided by the goal value, which our goals are worth. We create that. Now we have cost per acquisition. Now you go back to your website data. And if you have a dashboard, you create a new dashboard. And we're going to call this the practice dashboard. Create the dashboard. We're going to add the metric. They are listed in alphabetical order. So in this case, we're going to start typing cost per acquisition comes up. We're going to hit save and our cost per acquisition is one cent. It's the goal value from October 5th divided by the number of sessions. That's a look at how to use the new calculated metrics feature in Google Analytics.